There were certain predictions made 100 years ago for the year 2023, and we're going to see how many of those predictions they got right. The number one prediction was people will work a max of four hours a day. Wow. Uh, that depends on who it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, 100 years ago, the prediction was made that people will only work a max of four hours a day. Uh, there was a headline, as a matter of fact, in one of the newspapers 100 years ago that said, no more hard work by 2023. Mm. I wonder how Man. many hours a day they worked back then, though. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I don't 1923? know. Yeah, was yeah. it like twelve hours? And and, and maybe. maybe was it every single day? Because I wonder if they consider we get the weekend. When did it start for the typical work day? That the work unless week, you're yeah. in like retail and stuff that you yeah. get the weekend off. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know, but they did a hundred years ago say that they thought it was going to be electricity that would make it possible. Good. And uh, in 1923, less than half of U.S. homes had power. Oh, so okay. in their minds, they were like, that's the key to the future. Oh, my gosh, how miserable. I think it's the day of it. <laughs> 1938. Oh. The, the modern day work week. Yeah, Congress passed the Fair Labor Standards Act, which required overtime for more than a certain number of hours a week. So they amended it later to be 40 hours a week. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. They right. said, yeah, the typical laborer in the 1920s worked 10 hours a day, six days a week. So 60 hours a week. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So that was a good thing for them. Yeah. Not shortly, you know, shortly after they made the prediction. Well, in 1923, predictions were made for 100 years in the future. Uh, they said no ugly people would exist. They, they were said, right on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They nailed that one. They said there would <laughs> be no more beauty pageants because it would be impossible to choose a winner. Well, I think that wow. they were probably, they're somewhat right, because they were probably thinking you can prove your looks in the future, and which we can which do we now. Can. The problem is, if you're good looking, you can even prove it more. Yeah. And if you're ugly, you can prove it more, but not as much as the good looking person can when they improve it. That but is a, true. A good, yeah. person, a good looking person can ruin it and try to make themselves look too good and ruin them, their actual that good looks. So you can go too far. Yeah. You can. In 1923, they made the prediction that in the year 2023, women would paint their teeth black to be fashionable. Mm. But now it's fashionable it's to paint them have, white. Yeah, like yeah, really, really white teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right. not totally yeah. off here, though. Not because, totally. Like just the other day, uh, um, or a few weeks ago on TikTok, um, they started making it women that cry that makes themselves yes. look. That's odd, right? Yep. Yeah, like yeah, it, is weird. Or, it, it, it yeah. looks like and it's attractive if you cry. It's not, no. but that's the trend. So these are weird trends. Yeah, but uh, it was uh, also for when you were crying, it looked like you wasn't it red eyeliner or something that made something it weird. Made you yeah. Yeah, more somehow more attractive. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, in the year twenty, or excuse me, in the year nineteen twenty three, they made the prediction that the year twenty twenty three gasoline would be replaced by radio waves. That's an interesting one. They're not totally wow. off there. It's being well, replaced by electric. Yeah, not mm-hmm. totally off. Mm-hmm. Huh. They also said in 1923 that the year 2023, the life expect- expectancy would be 100 years old, but then another expert said it would be 300 years old. So they were a little off oh, on that one. Oh, it was the uh, 1923 Jason Goodman. <laughs> but it's coming. <laughs> yeah. but it 300 was. years old is coming. And not I, in our lives. No, we won't no. see it. Well, and I think, the oldest known person just passed away at 119. 19? I think so. Yeah. 19. Okay. Out of curiosity, I Googled radio waves running a car, and <sighs> Japanese researchers have developed a system that uh, turns short range radio waves into power for an, an electric car. Oh, that's Uh-oh. interesting. Well, yeah. They're not off. But I mean, yeah. and just saying that gasoline would be, go by the wayside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. They would also. They also said in 1923 that in 2023, flying from Chicago to Germany would only take 18 hours. <laughs> only. They were too conservative because it's half that now, around a nine-hour flight. Okay. How long did it take their planes then? I don't know. Yeah, I could probably Maybe uncommon for commercial three flights. Three nights. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe it just didn't make it. Did they have commercial didn't. flights then? I don't. In 1923. I know that airplanes, but I don't know about commercial mm-hmm. or it's probably very odd to fly. And you know what's scary about this whole thing when you're saying this? 1923, I mean, I know it's long ago, but in the grand scheme of human life, it's not that's that long. not a long ago. Yeah. Right. It's like we're still prehistoric. Mm-hmm. I know, because we have some people that work here that are close to 100. So, I mean, it's like they saw all this stuff. <laughs> it's like mm. they've seen it all. Gosh. Well, remember when Pan Am came out? The, I mean, the show, but remember Pan Am? I mean, yeah. it was like so luxurious and it was top of the line and like... It, that was really the elite of the elite were flying. And that was what, in the 50s, 60s? Yeah, 50s and 60s. So, 60s, yeah. I don't know. The first Everyone one. dressed up in suits and yes. dresses. And, and now it it's just like, deal. yeah, you wear your mm-hmm. basketball shorts. A couple different websites say it became really popular between 1941 and 1948. Okay. 
commercial flights. Yeah. Commercial flights started really taking off. There was a pun intended. I like, like in, it. <laughs> in 1914, they started doing like scheduled flights, but it still doesn't look like it was a commercial airline mm-hmm. like we're used to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then finally, in 1923, they said by the year 2023, cancer would be eradicated. It's not yet, but we are making great progress with yeah. all the research. There is some kind mm-hmm. of new pill that they have come out that they think that might be able to prevent prevent it from ever happening. That's huge. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I don't think yeah. in our life. Conspiracy Maybe. theory, Dr. Sebi found it, they killed him. Oh, oh. okay. Thank you for from trapping uh, on that. That's yeah. um, mm-hmm. What, Jerry can say we didn't land on the moon, I can't say we <laughs> Why found it. Why does it come back to me every time? Because I'm yeah. right about one thing, you guys have to all jump <laughs> on somebody right about that one thing. That is inaccurate. <laughs> about one thing. One thing, <laughs> the one he's right thing about. I'm right about. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably not right, but maybe.